So here's the thing, getting tackled in American football is completely different from getting tackled in flag football. In flag football, typically you have two flags around your waist and you're tackled once one of your flags gets pulled. Whereas in American football, you literally have to be brought down to the ground, which makes it much easier to get tackled in flag football than it is in American football. However, with the right set of moves, you can make it significantly harder for your defender to pull your flag. We've been playing flag football for the past 15 years now, and we want to teach you the tricks of the trade when it comes to making defenders miss in flag football. Number one is the quarter spin. This is probably my biggest pet peeve when it comes to flag football. A receiver gets a breakaway in open space, they're just about to cross the end zone, the last line of the fence is basically beat, but they get their flag pulled at the goal line. This should be a touchdown virtually every single time, but I've seen people get their flag pulled in this exact same situation time and time again, and I don't want it to happen to you, which is why you need to master the quarter spin. When you're running up the sideline and you only have one more person to beat, recognize that the only way for them to grab your flag is a single point of contact. So you need to be able to do whatever possible to make it harder for the defender to get to that point of contact without losing speed. So what you're gonna do is as you're running, either swivel your hips out or in about 45 degrees and then continue running. I promise you'll score so much more with this minimal movement. So number two is the half spin to karaoke. So you want to use a core spin when you have your defender basically beat and then make one last desperation attempt at grabbing your flag. You want to use the half spin to karaoke for when the defender has better positioning and you need to make a more compelling move for them to miss your flag. So let's say you're running up the sideline again, you're going to aim toward your defender's inside shoulder to give yourself space to half spin and shoot your hips away from the defender. After your half spin, you're going to karaoke out of it and then get yourself back square to continue running. Number three is the full spin. So you don't see the full spin nearly as much in flag football as you do in American football. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that it just takes too much time to execute and disrupts your speed too much. You most often see spin moves in flag happen in the open field when you have multiple defenders and you're trying to get to open space on the sideline. The thing that sets up the full spin for success is a pressure step or a jab step in the opposite direction that you're planning to spin to. So you pressure and move your body to one side and then instead of continuing in that direction, you simply turn the other way around. The key is to make sure that you don't just do a three quarter spin and ruin your momentum. You want to make sure you do that full spin so you continue to run forward. Number four is the juke and there are a ton of different variations of the juke and we can have a whole video dedicated to various different types of jukes but for the purposes of today's video we're going to give you a more broader overview. So the basic premise of any type of juke is to fake one way and then hop or bound to the other direction. So you can perform a standard lateral bound but my favorite variation of the juke and flag is what I call the quarter spin juke. Remember even if you fake really hard to one side and then juke to the other direction that flag is still pointed at the defender and an experienced flag puller will still be able to grab it no matter how off balance they are. This is where combining a simple quarter spin with your juke can really give you that extra edge to make the defender miss. This small movement is all you need to stack upon a traditional juke to make it that much more effective. Number five is the dip. The dip is more of a new school move that I think has been created as a result of the fact that flag tournaments around the world have banned jumping due to safety concerns. So players have adapted and have basically started to reverse jump by rapidly lowering their center of mass in order to make defenders miss. Now this one is not for the faint of heart or for the weak of knees. You're gonna wanna have the mobility, strength in your legs and tendons and coordination to pull this one off. And even then, I think dipping too much in the grand scheme of things can get really stressful on the knees, so use these in a more sparing fashion. The key to making this level change really effective is to keep your torso up tall, because if you are running forward and then you just bend your knees more but keep your hips high, your flags essentially stay in the same place. You want the flag to suddenly drop, and the only way to do that is by dropping straight down with your knees. So there you have it. Those are our top five moves to make defenders miss when it comes to flag football. We gave you some recommendations on how to perform them, but we also recommend that you make them your own so that you can create your own signature versions of these moves. That's the exciting thing about flag football. It's such a dynamic and free sport that doesn't put you in a box. Explore and run with the moves that feel good to you. Let us know in the comments which move is your favorite and if we missed any of your favorite moves. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure you go check out our channel for more football and functional fitness tips.